No mames, esa es la vieja torre, ¿no? Sí. Güey, esa es la vieja torre, ¿eh? No mames. I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it through. I roll out in the morning light with that Harley bike, all black. I'm the party type. Ya empezó. Ya empezó. Hey everyone, this is Luke from the Destiny team. The final shape is the culmination of a 10 year journey. A journey that began on the Cosmodrome. Took you to the moon, Venus, Mars, the reef, and beyond. It's a journey that'll end inside the traveler with you facing the witness. But facing oh, the witness no, is not the end of Destiny 2. And it's definitely not the end of Destiny. Partidas contra Pandu, sí. Witness, Muchas. Donde me llama Hacker y todo. What's coming next to Destiny 2 and beyond? We'll see you soon. No te contó mi descarga. Tienes que terminar la cinemática, papi. The final shape has been an amazing project to work on. The amount of creativity, the amount of design work, the amount of no, no tiene subtítulos. Coming together has been inspirational. I was like, are you guys, are you guys seeing this? Are you guys seeing this? It looks awesome. I think that we're gonna have a pretty big impact, and it's gonna shake things up a lot. And we just wanted to give you a glimpse of what we're working on. Me fue el internet ver. Para equilibrar. <laughs> Ok, una barra con cuatro. Ok, puedes combinar todo. Ok. Ok, no bad, no bad. Ay, mi mente, güey. No mames, esa es la vieja torre, ¿no? Sí. Güey, esa es la vieja torre, ¿eh? No mames. We are going into the pale heart of the traveler and the traveler's chosen you, the guardian, to be its champion. Verga, eso no me lo esperaba, ¿eh? Bien. One of the concept artists early on created a very evocative image of a guardian with light armor and dark armor. We're like, we really need this in the final shape. This is Voy a quitar esto de mientras y esto lo ponemos, ¿no? To build light and darkness at the same time. We build prisma exactly to be that. Prismatic is the new subclass. Eh, eso va a estar muy roto, eh. Muy roto. From different damage types together. Getting light and dark and mastering it. No one's done that before. Like the witness is manipulating the energies like this, but the witness is not a master of light and dark. You are. The guardian is. Players are. In Prismatic, underneath your super bar, there's a light meter and a dark meter. As you deal damage with either light damage or dark damage, it fills the respective sides of the meter. Once both sides are full, you get this new level of power that we're calling transcendence. I love transcendence because you okay. have these cool motions. For Warlocks, we have this cool like mystic pose. Hunters are gonna do this cool like the Titan when we're just go. While you're transcendent, you get a new, unique grenade that combines both light and dark together. The hunters get this fire and ice combo. Titans, strand, and arc. For the warlock, stasis, and void together. You have a weapon damage bonus that stacks on top of other weapon damage bonuses. Your grenade and melee are both instantly refunded when you cast transcendence. So you can loop them together, one after the other. <laughs> That's really exciting. That is so good. <laughs> We're kind of thinking about Prismatic as this advanced subclass where you have more build crafting options, more potential combinations, more fragments than you normally get, more fragment slots to socket them than you normally get. That is a lot of combinations. Wait, we meant to win. 300. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just the art director. 
I think that prismatic feels like you are doing combinations you shouldn't be able to do. It feels a little game breaking, I'm not gonna lie. A, a little a little bit. Yeah. Oh no. What yeah, hacker. Wey. In PvP. Wey, si está en PvP. Verga, wey. Nah, si has mamón, wey. Pero que Boyi no quería hacer un lado las habilidades y más disparos porque si meten esto en PvP, mandaron a la verga todo su concepto, eh. Si sí, es un emblema. It's not just about using multiple powers at the same time. It's about figuring out how they work in concert in really interesting ways. We're transcending kind of the, the bounds of light and darkness. There's all these subclasses that really resonate with people. And now you can finally combine those and make your own guardian feel very uniquely you. This like really opens up the doors for unexpected, like really wild stuff. I love um, being a hunter and having gunpowder gamble and blowing them up and then we're like oh wait wait wait! what if you could slow enemies you could throw out no you know, shurikens, and then you blow them up as well and it's like okay i didn't think i could ever do those two things at the same time and you're telling me i can do as much as i want you can throw a withering blade melee and like bounce it between a bunch of people and get like three kills from one melee and now your gunpowder gamble is like fully charged right and so like certain interactions I think get a lot easier <laughs> just because we've sort of made the aspects a little bit a little bit more permissive, a little bit a little bit looser. So like when we play test, I'm probably gonna be running probably Warlock with um, this, the Lightning Surge build where you have Arcane Needle for three melee charges and then you combine that with Lightning Surge. You can throw Bleak Watcher on top of that for just like a little extra crowd control or you can throw Devour and so you're, you know, jumping in, lightning surging, that's killing a bunch of stuff. You're activating Devour. That gives you infinite sustain, effectively, to stay in the fight. As a Titan, you can just quickly start using your arc abilities to jolt, to jolt all the enemies around you, and then kind of finish them off with, like, the cool blades of Strand. And it's so satisfying to see how fast you move. It's a very, like, fun, destructive, build that you can just like destroy everything around you and it, it, it's super fun there was this moment for me where i was like wait a minute i could send out threadlings and have a bleak watcher it just creates these moments of escalation within the combat and i think that's really exciting for me if you combine bleak watcher and feed the void you consume your grenade to throw your bleak watcher out there and so it's, you know, locking stuff down with stasis, doing crowd control. Si you know, crystal esto, up pretty easily, with, you know, an arcane needle melee, which has three charges. Those ability kills will activate devour, which gives you more grenade energy every time devour activates. So lets you loop your bleak watcher. And so you can have like multiple bleak watchers out in the field, freezing stuff everywhere. You're just like launching your cool strand melees out and everything's dying and it's great. <laughs> embracing the challenge of like how do we make stuff that wasn't initially intended to like work together in the same build like how do we twist them and warp them and push and pull this and that to make them work together i'm excited about you know seeing uh all the players like talk about their favorite combinations Pero, i'm just looking forward to all the the videos that people make of their own custom eh, builds eh, eh, esto se va a ver pero ya en el final shape no to create like, these, these amazing builds. It feels infinite to me, uh, and I'm, I'm really excited about that. Hey. Ah, lo, lo, de, lo de las habilidades es una locura, eh. 
No, esa, las habilidades es una puta locura, eh. In the final shape, we're going to be making these new exotic class items. These new exotic class items allow Dos años, you to steal perks from other exotics and combine two perks together into one single exotic. The perks that Dos años, mierda. Random rolled. One thing that is going to be fun is to chase these perks and then find different combinations that work really well. These new class items are all about prismatic and making that feel good. So it's going to be all about enhancing your builds and your combination of light and darkness and achieving transcendence and what transcendence Vi bien esa granada se combinó con el healing y el arc. With these class items, we wanted them to stand out as special. They have these two per columns that are used on aspects from other exotics. Exotic class items are going to let you do things that other classes consider their own, but now they're yours. I managed to get for my slow him down, blow him up hunter build a roll on the exotic cloak that made it so powered melee kills caused enemies to ignite, and also I could get an extra dodge charge so I could do an extra slow charge on enemies at the same time. We want it to feel a little broken. A little, it un poco. Like I had two exotics on my cloak, which is kind of the intention. We want that to feel like you're bending the rules a bit. <laughs> It just opens up the space for mix and matching in a way that I think is going to just be fun to see what combinations people find and like and what becomes the meta. They look amazing. They have visual effects that activate when you are transcendent. It just really ties into this overall theme. But on top of that, the gameplay with basically stealing exotic traits from other exotics and even from classes that aren't you adds this element of spice to them and the fact that it's random rolls you're going to want to keep looking for the right one for your builds No, oh, mames, ese güey tiene mi aim. Ahora los nuevos enemigos this new witness faction. When you see these new characters, not only do they look unique and new, but you see like a through line that we've been building through the years that connects it all together. And you've seen a member of the Dread before. You might remember seeing the Tormentor make a big appearance last year. Well, that was just the first one. You have like this slate of new enemies with like the torment, yeah, the see. subjugators, and the weaver, and the attendant, and the grim, and the husk. This is like the embodiment of the witness in these new enemies. Yeah, the grim is probably one of my favorite new enemies that we have in Destiny. I think it's a poster child of the dread in some ways. It's this bat with a gun. The gun bat, yes, exactly. <laughs> it does a scream and it swoops all around the battlefield. It's a profile we've never seen in Destiny. You are facing now the first flying character with actual wings. They can screech and if that hits you, it suppresses your abilities. It also slows you down. It was something that immediately appealed to the team and made us think we have to do this. We have to make this character. Están vergas, no lo van a negar. Están vergas. 
the husk is this melee bruiser who has these incredibly dangerous looking blades and they're going to do these cool acrobatic attacks. They hurt. They have yeah, two pieces of the sharp melee weapons <laughs> and they just <laughs> <come> <laughs> <and> <laughs> those things and we'll just slice and dice. They are really dangerous, especially in groups. If you manage to kill the husk, you have to be careful because if you kill it the wrong way, what's inside of the husk? The geist is going to pop out and it's going to seek you out. A geist has killed me more than I care to admit. Now I'm like, Bien, es, es un concepto como los de los escudos. Pero no está mal. The weaver and the attendant are our strand and stasis scions that have been reshaped by the witness. We wanted to show like the influence of darkness powers on these characters. They have a stasis ability that can shoot at you though. Okay, un nuevo escudo, eh. Eso se usó como granada, eh. The fact that you can get suspended and una granada que te da escudo, güey. Va a estar loco eso. The weaver does something we've never done before. It'll shoot out this complete powerful strand wave. If that thing hits you, it's almost like a rubber band. It like Okay, te chupan. And like snaps and that like pulls you towards that character. As one character doing that to you, yeah, you can handle it. Man, man, me agrada. Trying to pull you in different directions towards. En tiempos oscuros, sí, para el crisol, sí, güey. Hay que ver cómo lo ponen para el crisol. We're really excited about everything that we've been doing for the final shape. It just feels like there's a really cool through line through all of this. It's the culmination of the Guardian's journey over the last 10 years. We wanted to years, deliver better. something that's really like fun and exciting and engaging for players. It is amazing to see this initial inspiration carried all the way through to become a reality in the final shape. Van a agregar voces a nuestros personajes. Esa va, esa va a ser la misión para que nos... Eso de que todo sea súper roto me gusta porque. Porque eso, eso quiere decir que, que vamos contra el más chingón, o sea, vamos a necesitar todo eso. Sí, se rifaron, güey. Eso es lo de ahorita, ¿no? Sí, eso es lo de ahorita. The mountain top. Weapons we once deemed heretical. Ah, bien. I know you'll use this well. Impulsos. Caos. La reclusa. La guillotina. New secrets, new challenge.
F, F por el crisol, les digo, vamos a ver cómo lo dejan, güey. Pero la neta, sea lo que sea, se ve muy, muy chingón. Free to play, si no compro el DLC, es GG's para mí. No, ahorita lo que, lo que vamos a estar jugando ahorita sí es gratis para todos, banda. Eso aclararlo. Eh, lo del DLC de Final Shape, obviamente, si sí lo tienen que pagar. Y uno de ustedes va a ser el suertudo. De ganarse este DLC si se descargan el juego y llegan a nivel 8. Y obviamente eh, los que lleguen a nivel 8 se van a llevar su farito gratis 100% asegurado. ¿eh? Pachi, muchísimas gracias por descargar el juego papi.